What's up, y'all? It's the fucking Cheats coming to you from John Boy B Studio. About to give you an exclusive interview. Get to know me, bitch. It's Cheats, aka the fucking Cheats. 23 year old Puerto Rican, born and raised the best out of Brooklyn. Listen to music and hearing nothing original. Music and artists that used to inspire me growing up was definitely Jay Z, 50 Cent, and the whole G Unit movement and all that. Um, and definitely freestyle music like the whole house music, Little Susie, Lisa Lisa, Can You Feel the Beat? All that. So I'm a fight for my bread, and my opinion does it count. Why you asking me? The artists I've been listening to recently is definitely a lot of Meek Mill, Rich Homie Kwan, um, Fab new album is fire. That new Nipsey mixtape is fire too, got a lot of dope shit on there. My writing process, is, it depends on the situation. Like if somebody sent me a song or whatever, and I'm already in the studio, I might write it up right there or whatever. But if they send it to me and I'm in the crib or whatever, I could be taking a shit or something and just write a verse, you feel me? It depends on the, the feeling I get whenever I'm listening to the beat or something. I'm in the studio mostly like every day. Whenever I get the chance, I'm in there trying to cook up on some new shit. Lose hope. I be asking God why I had to lose both. Number one is Jay Z, for sure, for sure. Now everybody I'm about to name after that is not in any specific order. They could be, you know how that goes. Well, number one Jay Z. Number two is Ti. Three. I would have to say Kanye, 4, 50, and 5, um, is between two people, and I don't know those two people, so I'll get back to you. My favorite producers. Number one, definitely John Boy Beach Studio. Make sure you follow that guy, he got the fire. He definitely knows how to cater to my sound, so definitely be on the lookout for way more shit for that. But besides him, I definitely fuck with Mike Will made it. He's on some shit right now. He got that new squeak, them young boys on their shit. Um, Timberland, of course, one of the goats. And I would have to say London on the track is definitely making some fucking noise down there in Atlanta. I'm a cheetah girl with no Disney channel. Who loop for my business channel? I've done a couple shows. Um I remember a couple years back I went down to Texas for South by Southwest with the whole murder app. We bust down a couple shows down there, that shit was dope, everybody was showing love. Hopefully this year, um We'll get the touchdown over there again and turn the shit up again. Taking all my dollars, it don't make sense. Heart of a lion, but I'm a cheater. It depends on if it works out right. If the politics is right behind it. If there's a better step or zone for what we're trying to get done, then yeah, maybe I would sign to a major. But if not, then the route is definitely going independent. I definitely want to work with Ray Schremer. For some reason, them boys be turned the fuck up. I want, I want to go turn the fuck up and do that little fish shit they be doing on stage. That should be lit. Um, but other than that, I definitely want to work with with Hove the Goat. You know how that goes, Brooklyn. I definitely gotta do some shit for my city. The meaning of my name is infidelity. I'm kind of selfish. You could expect a lot of new projects coming out. Whether it's a video, a mixtape, or a feature for somebody else, you're definitely gonna see me everywhere. You're gonna see John Boy's logo everywhere. We're gonna take over this year. Shoot at you actors like movie directors.